The relocation has officially begun here in my main franchise series in Madden 25. Gone are the Las Vegas Raiders in the NFL, and gone is head coach Antonio Pierce. Enter head coach CJ Smalls and enter the Akron, Ohio Summits. That is right, my hometown, Akron, Ohio, now has an NFL football team, and I am excited to play with this team that I've made in the team builder. And does it make sense for an Akron, Ohio team to be in the AFC West? No, not really, but I really wanted to rebuild the Raiders roster, and I wanted to showcase this team builder team that I made, and also, of course, play with an Akron, Ohio football team. That's that's something that's always been cool to me is, uh, you know, playing. Obviously, I played Akron uh, in the College Football 25 series, which I still will probably make content on, but I really wanted to have an Akron team here in uh, the NFL. And by the way, the SFL series is still coming. So if you're a fan of that series and you want to get in the league, it's still coming. Don't worry. I'm currently in the process of customizing 32 team builder teams. Currently, I have 15 done as I record this. And that is a very long and tedious process. The ones that I have done that are complete are on the download center. I'll put them on the screen here so you can see what I have. And if you want to download one of those teams and play with them. I put a lot of hard work into de designing the uniforms, the logos, the stadiums. It's all really, really cool. So please feel free to download some of those if you want to. And uh, getting a look at the Akron Summits jerseys, though. This is just the home jersey, of course. But we'll have my man Max oh, Crosby yeah. showcase it. I think it's pretty slick. Of course, the uh, blue and orange Akron, Ohio colors, if you don't know. And uh, we all, I also got a couple little surprises coming your guys' way, too, in terms of the jerseys. But this is what uh, at least our home jerseys look like here on the Akron Summits. I have our three-star scout scouting quarterbacks. Obviously, the situation is uh, not too good here in Las Vegas. Garner Minshew is our starter. Aiden O'Connell actually got injured, and so did Michael Mayer. Um, if you don't know, which I think this is totally stupid, you are not able to relocate a team to a team builder team. So the first episode that I dropped a couple days ago where I went through the preseason and all that stuff. Yeah, I had to restart because for whatever reason, you cannot relocate to a team builder team. So I tried to emulate everything that I did in that first episode. But Michael Mayer got injured. He's gone for eight, eight more weeks, it says. And Aiden O'Connell, not that he would really be playing too much, but he's going to be gone for one more week. So... That kind of sucks, stupid, but whatever. Uh, I got our two-star scout looking at linebackers and our interior offensive line. We got to get better on the offensive line side, most definitely, and that's going to be a big focus. Halfback could also be a focus as well. I got one of our one-star scouts looking at halfbacks, but uh, linebackers, definitely, you know, we got D uh, Divine Diablo and Robert Spillane. They're okay options, but they're not really going to develop too much probably here in Madden. Of course, we got Tommy Eichenberg, our rookie, but how good really is he? We don't know. He's unproven. So definitely a lot of work to do on defense and definitely got to bolster up that offensive line. But quarterback will be our number one focus going into the scouting process. We do have two QBs inside the top 10, so I definitely like to see that. We got some offensive linemen, a defensive end. That's pretty good. Um, but definitely quarterback. Quarterback is going to be the move for sure. And uh, let's take a look at the quarterbacks actually and see what we're working with actually four guys projected to go inside the first round i definitely like to see that this and a, even a lot of round two guys potentially too so this looks like a really good draft class for quarterback which we really really needed and all these guys good size too we got devin scott 6'4 out of north dakota state we got kevin saunders 6'3 out of michigan glenn fox 6'5 out of texas and george brackett 6'4 out of Penn State and that's you know great size for a quarterback don't know anything about them yet obviously but you know initial observation I definitely am digging it and getting a look at the offensive line some good options at left tackle four guys that could potentially go inside the first round um, after that not too much guard only a couple we need interior definitely uh, center not going to be good but we know centers usually have dev traits even if they're projected to go in the you know, third, fourth, fifth round, stuff like that. So center could be okay. Um, some decent options at guard. You know, a couple guys projected to go inside the first round, possibly fall into the second. And then some two to three round guys as well. And right tackle, not too much there. Just a couple guys. Uh, Chase Rudolph being the best of the bunch here. 
Um, but aside from that, lots of UDFAs and lots of day three guys. The practice field at training camp in Akron, Ohio. I can't wait for you guys to see our stadium. Coach, going into the season, what area of the team are you most worried about? I mean, <laughs> our defense, because I'm probably going to play okay on offense and Coach Smalls being the man of few words, just gives a quick two word answer. So if the defense is the weakest, what part of the offense is the strongest? Oh, yeah. We did this in uh we did this in the first episode. See, I didn't get this scenario. It's gonna make us throw for want to throw for four thousand yards with Gardner Minshew. I'm pretty sure is what I chose last time. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, or no, maybe I did wide receivers. I'm trying to remember. The receivers are the backbone of our offense, of course. If you guys watched, Jacoby Myers got a dev upgrade to superstar in the preseason. So yeah, okay, here we go. This is the one I chose last time, so we're on the same track. We'll have 4,000 uh, season passing yards, which it's Madden. So even with Gardner Minshew, I'm confident that I can maybe achieve that goal, but nothing's guaranteed. Taking on the LA Chargers in our first game here in Madden. Of course, when you talk about a guy like Justin Herbert, you're going to want to defend the deep pass. Now, Chargers are not as good as they were last year, which, I, you know, they definitely they brought in coach uh, Jim Harbaugh. So maybe that's something, but Keenan Allen's gone. Mike Williams is gone. So who is Justin Herbert going to be slinging the rock to? Who's going to be his number one wide receiver? We don't know, but you definitely know when you got a guy like Justin Herbert back there, you always got to be mindful of that. They got Khalil Mack. They got Joey Bosa. They got Derwin James. So I think that we'll go. They want us to go throw it medium. Uh, no, we're going to do throw it deep to start at least. And I think we'll just go ahead and make our game plan here. Let me just see two plus passing touchdowns with Garner Minshew. If we can get that, I would be happy. In losing Michael Mayer, we're definitely going to have to uh, put a more heavy focus on Brock Bowers. Obviously, he was already going to be a big time target for us. But now our tight end room looks like Brock Bowers, Harrison Bryant, and Zach Gentry. So losing Michael Mayer is a big one. And I look for Brock Bowers to have pretty good season this season. He'll probably be... One of my uh, one of my go to targets, he, Devontae Adams and newly acquired superstar Jacoby Myers. But look for Brock Bowers to really, really be a huge impact on this team. Look at that Akron, Ohio logo right in the middle of the field. Man, I'll tell you what, I am putting in the work on the team builder and it takes <laughs> it takes me a good hour to make one team. And obviously I'm doing all 32 for the team builder squads so that is i cannot wait for that to be wrapped up so i can show you guys all the cool stuff i'm doing but tommy eichenberg here you know he could be potentially a piece for us not sure he's got that hidden dev trait which is huge in madden and you know if he has maybe one good game potentially he could go up to superstar just like that now i am not the best at defense and i think the defense is uh, slightly broken here in Madden, and I do not mean in my favor. So you're probably going to see teams put up 30, 40 points on us with ease. But Tommy Eichenberg, maybe he could be a potential anchor on that defensive squad for us. Well done. And really, really quick, guys, take a look at the channel memberships if you haven't already. Very, very low cost, a buck ninety-nine for the coach level, two ninety-nine for the GM level. You get a ton of cool perks like early access to my videos. Once I get the SFL series up and running, if you join that, your subscriber player will start with Superstar or X Factor Dev. And I'll shout you out, you know, if you're a fellow creator or have something you want to promote at the end of this video, you'll see my two channel members that we have so far. Appreciate uh, appreciate you guys for joining. And if you, you know, I make no money off of ad revenue. I'm not at 1,000 subscribers yet. It's a very, very tough grind for me. So if you would like to support in any way and get a couple extra cool perks, join the channel memberships today. Traveling down to SoFi Stadium. So gonna have to wait to see Rubber City Field, which is where we play. But I wanna show you guys the uniforms real quick. So obviously you already saw our home uniforms, which I think are very, very slick. We got the Akron, Ohio logo up there on the helmet and then we also got the 330 that's the area code here 330 on the neck piece as well and then the away ones are pretty much the same just obviously the whites but check out the alternate uniforms that i made the akron zips that's right so I, we could potentially switch it up and have the akron zips uniform i am so so Please with that. And if you guys want to download this squad, it's on the download center right now. Akron Summits. Go check it out. But our first game against the LA Chargers, 
I'm not expecting too much, but you never know. Chargers are not as good as they once were, but still got a lot of weapons there. So without further ado, guys, let's get on down to SoFi Stadium and get ready for the game. Opening kick of the season is up and underway, and we are going to see this Akron Summit's defense first. We got Max Crosby, but not a whole lot after that. I mean, some good guys, but no real game changers. Christian Wilkins got injured in the first uh, in the first episode, but he's not injured now. And I'm not going to make him injured because I feel like since we lost Michael Mayer, that's a pretty good trade off. So, I mean, we got Christian Wilkins. Maybe he'll be something. But, yeah, I am just uh, not good at defense for some reason. Not sure if it's me or the game or both. It's, it's probably both. But it's going to be a opening drive give there to the running back. That is Gus Edwards, and he is going to be shut down for no gain. And that's a good play by Di Divine Diablo, who I was just talking about. So maybe he heard me, and maybe he will be a uh, you know game wrecker on defense. Not sure, but we're going to use her up on Spillane here on second down, and see what Herbert decides to do out of the shotgun. He's looking, and he found. His wide receiver there, that is Lad McConkey, rookie out of Georgia, second round pick for the Chargers, making the catch. I'm in a big third down here, and I think we got to press up with the blitz and hopefully get these Chargers off Bruh. of the field. Not going to happen because making the catch is Joshua Palmer, who really is their true number one wide receiver, I suppose. I mean, unless Lad McConkey ends up breaking out, which he could. He was a very good player at Georgia. But no Keenan Allen, no Mike Williams. You know, it's not the same Chargers that we're used to seeing. Let's uh, audible Richardson into some man coverage here and get to the quarterback. Bang! There we go. It is Divine Diablo who, man, oh, man, ever since I said his name a little while ago, he's made two, two really key plays on this drive, and you'll love to see it. I did switch to nine-minute quarters with the accelerated clock runoff to 18 seconds. I feel like with 10 it was just taking a little bit too long, and Gus Edwards going to be dropped there for just a minimal gain. So we'll see how rocking with the you know the nine-minute quarters goes. Uh, I don't want the games to be too long, but at the same time, still want to make sure there's a you know good good amount of content in here. But it's another third and twelve. Can Christian Wilkins or somebody get some pressure back there on Herbert? He's scrambling, and I mean there's just no excuse for that man. Joshua Palmer makes the catch, but we had a cornerback right there in coverage. And just for whatever reason, let's see if he even had. Yeah, I mean, he's he's looking at the ball, right? And this is what I'm talking about with the defense. Like, I'm not usered up on him, but I shouldn't have to be. I mean, he just he makes no play on the ball, doesn't put his hand up. And to me, that's not a skill issue on my end. Again, I'm, I'm not, you know, the best Madden player out there, but it's just... Yeah, I'm going to stop because we're here to to play some football and watch some content. But man, oh man, something's up with the defense. Herbert out of shotgun, sending a man in motion. It's Edwards again. And I'll tell you what, if nothing else, man, our run defense really looks good to start as Max Crosby is there to get him for a loss of one. Now it's third and 12. I mean, you know, <laughs> should be able to get him off of the field. Yes, but is that going to be the case? Not 100% sure. We're going to try our darndest. Belaine is the... There. See what I'm talking about, man. Another third down conversion for Herbert, and he is now at 55 yards. Missed opportunities for the Akron Summits. We're finishing like, you know, three-fourths of these, of these possessions, and they just keep converting, and they keep moving the chains, and we can't play any sort of pass defense. Our run defense looks great, but our pass defense is pretty much non-existent as Lad McConkey makes another catch. And now the Chargers are threatening to score from the 13-yard line. Let's have Spillane just kind of man the middle of the field there, put him on a spy, and this time it's going to be a play action to Herbert. We flushed him out. Almost got there on the sack, but he was forced to throw it away. That will bring up second and 10. And we have an injured player there. That's not good to see. Uh, it's Amari Bernie, though not really one of our, our key guys, but still injuries are... You know, have been a problem in some of my series in the past, and I think we need to just double. I'm gonna have Tra I'm gonna have uh, Trayvon Merrick over here just watching this side of the field, and that's gonna be a touchdown because again, receivers, at least what I've seen so far, and this is on all Madden default sliders, um, I receivers just don't seem to drop the ball, 
And Justin Herbert, he did put it right there, you know, uh, right there on the money. We had a shot there to put our hand up, maybe force it out. But unfortunately, the Chargers and uh, Jim Harbaugh are going to strike first. Get a chance to see this new kickoff here. And I've had a little bit of success with this, just playing around. As you see, hole kind of opens up there for Tucker. But getting the ball almost to the 40, I mean, on the old kickoffs, I was lucky to get it to the 20. But get ready for Minchu Mania. Antonio Pierce in real life says it was a less than thrilling quarterback battle. The he and Aiden O'Connell both really did not impress too much in the preseason. We don't have Aiden O'Connell right now. He's hurt. And it is going to be Minchu, hopefully, for the duration of the season until we find our knock on wood quarterback of the future in the draft. We're going to start screen game, though, to Alexander Madison. We actually got it off, and Madison has some room to run. He's juking people. Look at Madison. Okay. There was a little halfback battle between Madison and uh, our other running back, Zamir White. I almost forgot. Him and Zamir White had a little uh, running back battle in the preseason. Alexander Madison did win that, and that was a great play. Getting this all the way down to the 29 off of the screen pass. Let's go to Madison on the ground now. Out of the eye form. See if he can get. Oh, well, we are stuffed there by Khalil Mack. Lost a four on the play. Khalil Mack, even in his 11th season, I believe he's been in the league. He is definitely still a factor. And coach is saying screen pass again. I actually don't hate that. Um, so we're going to go with it. You guys know if you watch my content and my series is here, I typically rock with the coach suggestions unless it's just a boneheaded play and I just held that way too long with Gardner Minshew and we really want to convert this because I am not the best at kicking I got the you know the new kicking kicking thing that they took from college football I got that activated but anything 30 yards and beyond that is not a gimme for me maybe Brock Bowers wins instantly it doesn't look like he is so just need to Set up for a shorter field goal. I'm okay with that. Trey Tucker gets it inside the 30. I feel a little more confident, but even this, I mean, you're liable to see some missed kicks, so I got to shut up right now. That one should be, and it's, mm, because I, uh, the kick was accurate enough, but since I did not time the power correctly, you saw that. Kicking meter start wobbling, and that is what I'm talking about. Coach Smalls does not approve, and the real-life CJ Smalls does not approve either. So it was a pretty good drive, but kind of fizzled out there at the end. And now we got to prevent the Chargers from putting up any more points. A sack on Herbert would be great. Thank you so, so very much. That is Tyree Wilson, two-year pro out of Texas Tech drilling Justin Herbert for a loss of 11. Go ahead and press up with the guys here. Yeah, other than our pass defense, everything else is looking pretty good. Our run defense is good. We're getting to Herbert, and there's some good pass defense. Thank you, Jack Jones, who I really, really like. I talked about him in the first episode. He's had some, some great plays. He's had some lapses, but I am personally a Jack Jones fan, so I'm going to be excited for him to hopefully make some noise on this team. But now, third and 21, can we please, it's a, it's a penalty. It's a freaking penalty. It doesn't matter anyways because it's converted. I swear to God, I knew it was, it was illegal touching because I had Tyree Wilson dropped out there. But we just can't stop a third down. Literally any third down, we can't stop. And that, that would have been completed anyways. And it just makes no sense to me, man. No sense at all. It's going to be a play action. Herbert, come on, pick that. Trayvon Merrick with a nice swap, but I really would have preferred the interception. And I mean, if we cannot stop them on this third and 11, I'm not going to do anything besides bitch and moan. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to quit playing the game. But I mean, come on, give me something, please. Still a seven point game as of right now, but we got to find a way to stop them on this play right here, right now. Come on, man. We got to do this. I'm going to have Tyree Wilson drop back in coverage again, but it's it's it just makes no sense to me, man. It makes no sense to me. How do we play so good on three downs and then just completely lose it? That's Quentin Johnson, who's been struggling a little bit in a training camp. That's word on the street anyways. But yeah, it is just ridiculous. And the Chargers are going to score. You, you you know, one would have to believe. And it's like we play great for three downs. And then we just cannot stop them on third down. There's Gus Edwards. Don't let him get going. Need to try to strip it or something. 
Gus now at 7 for 21, averaging 3 yards per carry. I need Max Crosby to get back there. We've had a couple sacks on Herbert, but Max Crosby hasn't been the recipient of any of them. Maybe he can get back there now. That's going to be a touchdown, isn't it? Yep. Sure is. That's a second-round pick there, Lab McConkie. Extending this to a two-score game. And what did I say? I said it pre-game. You're probably going to see points. Uh, teams put up 30, you know, maybe even 40 points on us. So if we have any hopes of staying in this one, we're going to have to do some quick strike offense. And I guess maybe turn this into a shootout. Come on, single back. Now going to be a little draw run to Matt. And there's no blockers, man. I saw that from jump. Alexander Madison has 30-something receiving yards, but about negative seven <laughs> rushing yards. Uh, not what you want to see, not what you want to see from your starting running back, but what do you do when you got, got guys in the backfield instantly behind the sticks again, now second and 12. So let's see who wants to get open here. That is Trey Tucker, the speedster. He's got some room. Okay. Does drive looking a lot like the first drive, but got to make sure that the end result is not the same as the first drive. All right, come on, just give me something in the run game. I will take anything at this point. Madison doesn't really have the speed to get outside on the edge. I mean, uh, no gain on the play is actually a blessing because that should have been yet another loss. And uh, maybe RPO. You know, I got um, I, I got the RPO still stuck in my mind from playing college football with the Akron Zips. RPOs was like our bread and butter. Let's see if we can hit maybe Trey Tucker. I think that's going to be the move. And no blocking, but Trey Tucker hitting a nice spin. And uh, it's third and seven. Uh, we got to pick this up because I just do not want to kick a field goal in this situation. All right, we're going TE attack. I'm looking for Brock Bowers all the way, baby. Please get open. He is open. That was a dart for Minshew, too. Wow. Threaded the needle, threw it right behind a defender. And Brock Bowers, who was already an 80 overall now for us as a rookie after getting several upgrades in a training camp. That was a laser for Minshew, man. I, I'm very impressed. Very impressed with that one indeed. And uh, we are going to get the ball after halftime too. So this would be huge to score here. And hopefully, you know, don't allow the... Okay, there we go. Now we got some room with Madison. He shut down there at the end of the day by Derwin James. But a gain of eight... That's like a gain of freaking 20 for me. Come on, Madison. Take us home on the inside zone. I know you can. Oh, hell no. Do it, brother. He fumbled it. Are you kidding me? No. No. Oh, God, dude. This is not a good way to start the Madden 25 franchise. I mean, both drives for us look so good. And just something stupid happened at the end. Now the field goal, whatever you can say, that's me. But Madison, brother, you might have just lost some reps to Zamir White on that one because you can't be doing that. You can't be coughing the football up ever, really, but especially when oh, I'm just going to stop talking, man. And that's going to be probably a huge gainer to Gus Edwards. Yeah. All right. So uh, injury there on the field. That's not good to see. That is Christian Wilkins, who got injured in the first episode. And I guess that is. Madden Karma coming back to bite me because now he's injured again, it would appear. Herbert coming out shotgun, three wide to his right. I'm probably going to have Max Crosby play a little bit of coverage over here because why not? And it's just wide open, man. I swear, dude. And I was about to say, if Joshua Palmer broke that tackle, Herbert at 172. And this game, it could easily be at least 10 to 14. Not saying it should be 14 to 14. It should be 10 to 14, and we should have a ball game. Unfortunately, that's not how it played out, and we just got to hope for some big-time plays. How about a fumble for the Chargers, interception, something? I mean, just give me something. Give me anything. I mean, that's pretty good run defense there, but wow, J.K. Dobbins is just breaking every single tackle left and right. That's pretty good gain of six for Ella. Second and four here. Herbert coming out shotgun. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a run, though. It is not. It's a dump down to Hayden Hurst. Can I get a fumble or something, please? We really, really need to force. I mean, at this point, I'll take incompletions. Like, I don't even necessarily need a turnover, a fumble, or an interception. I'll just take incompletions at this point. Maybe Max Crosby can get back here and generate a little bit of pressure on Herbert. Not going to happen. And it's just like, yeah. These QBs don't miss, man. 
Herbert now at 204. He's probably going to go for 500 in this game. I'm sending heat. I'm usering up on Trayvon Merrick. If he throws this to Hayden Hurst, then so be it. And not going to be. It's going to be the other tight end, Will Disley. And I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout. They're going to score. They're on the one-yard line. I want to at least have a shot to get some type of points before going into the locker room. Obviously, they I mean, they got three downs to work with here. I almost just want them to score now. Like, Give me a little bit more time. Of course, I'm going to try to stop. Whoop. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Gus Edwards scores 21-0. Can we score with just under a minute? That's the question. I'll tell you what, man. I am going to give it the good old college try. Maybe it uh, could be a shot to Devontae Adams. No, let's just go safe underneath to Trey Tucker. That seemed to work, you know, last time on the last drive. I don't know why Coach Smalls' jacket is yellow. Because there ain't no yellow on this Akron team. That is definitely orange, but I kind of like it. It's a little bit of swag there from Coach, you know. Coach Smalls is known to, to have the swag and ball out. And this right here, this stuff right here, it's going to be Trey Tucker up the seam. I need uh, Amir Abdullah to block for me, and we're going to give him a shot. Trey Tucker makes it. Go up to the line and spike it. We're going to go up to the line and spike it. want to save that last time out. But this is a good way to close out our last drive of the half, but got to pay it off with some points. I mean, we're calling the exact same play. Show me blitz, and I'm looking at Trey Tucker again. Okay, that time it's not there. We're going to go to Brock Bowers, and we're going to have to use our last time out. I don't want to. we got to make sure we get out of bounds, too. That's important because there's like a freaking 17-second runoff or something, which is uh, absolutely crazy and also can't take a sack as well. You know, we may just have to go screen pass here because we got to get out of bounds and maybe I get a chance to redeem myself on the field goal. Let's send Brock Bowers up the middle just in case. You never know. Crazier things have happened. And oh, my God, I almost took the sack there. And now I got to kick a 48 yard field goal. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, it's just not pretty on these field goals. Let me go ahead and shut up now. That one should be good. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So Daniel Carlson gives us three. It's not the seven that we wanted, but it's a start. And at least we don't have that goose egg on the scoreboard. But defense has to tighten up. Matter of fact, Chargers still got 16 seconds. So with the way that they're playing, they could get into field goal range easily. So uh, just got to make sure that does not happen. And also not a good kick return, which... It's a little bit better than I would have hoped. 21-3. Not proud of it, but score here on our first opening drive, and we're right back in it. Still looking for our first touchdown. Not going to do it settling for field goals. We definitely should have already had a touchdown, in my opinion. But, hey, it is what it is, and we need to make the focus running it inside because our run game was non-existent in that first half and going to switch to... We'll switch to defend the medium pass on Herbert. Got to get this ground attack going. I'm probably still looking at Jacoby Myers as my first read. Nope. And that's actually a pretty good one for Madison. Doesn't have that electric speed to turn the corner. But anything that's not a negative gain, like we saw uh, you know, in the first half, I will certainly take that. And this is a time now where I think we do play action shot. Probably looking for superstar Jacoby Myers but got to have protection as well. And that's a great pass there by Minshew. Had to lead that thing to the right, or that could have been a pick. But just like that, we get it into Chargers territory. Probably throw a double team here on Khalil Mack because I'm running it to his side. And just show me something, Madison. Anything, and even with the double team, Khalil Mack still showing that he's got it, even in his, uh, his more elder years. Still a difference maker, and he made a huge difference on that one. So here on second and 10, probably just go meshes and see uh, who can get open. Brock Bowers open enough and a heck of a catch. He's having a good game in his Akron Summits debut, picking up the first down, moving the chains. Not going to give up on the run game, but we got to watch Joey Bosa, who is right there on that side. There's a good block from our guard. Madison, just do not fumble. If uh, I said, yeah, Alexander Madison, if he fumbles one more time, I will most definitely bring in Zamir White and we're going to give him his shots, though. I do like uh, I do like this defense that we're seeing here. Got to watch Khalil Mack and hopefully and actually that's not that's Amir Abdullah in the game, not even Zamir White. OK, I'll take it, though, as Abdullah does convert. Wish I had some press over there with Devontae Adams. We're going to go ahead and put him on a curl. 
We're probably looking for uh, one of our tight ends to get open here. And I think it's Harrison Bryant, who shouldn't even really be playing. That should be Michael Mayer. But Harrison Bryant, who a uh, pretty good player. You know, I watched him on the Cleveland Browns. He was a Mackey Award winning tight end in college football. So he's not a terrible option. But again, really wish we did have Michael Mayer, but we don't. So we got to get over it. And this will probably be Devontae Adams on the drag route, although it's not going to be because we are sacked there. Big time sack, third and eight. <laughs> I just do not want to have to kick another field goal. Going back to the TE attack here and got to get Brock Bowers open, but we're probably going to be a pick. Yeah, I should have never, ever threw that. That was a hundred percent on me. Khalil Mack was right there and I didn't want to take the sack. And instead I threw a pick to Aloe Gilman and nothing, nothing to say. That was a hundred percent me making a boneheaded decision. I'm going to do that from time to time. If you guys watch any of my series, you will know that and just got to fight through it. Just got to power through it. The first game of the season. I did not expect to win this game anyways. But I at least expected to score a freaking touchdown. But again, the problem is we just can't stop the Chargers. And this is not even one of the, you know, the better teams in the NFL. We got to play the Chiefs twice per year. Are you kidding me? And the AFC West, that should be fun. And lots of other, you know, tons of teams better than the Chargers. So if we're seeing this type of uh, defensive performance by the Chargers, God help my soul. When we start playing better teams and that is a good run there by jk dobbins picking up the first down taking it to the 43 of the summits inside shade here guessing pass gotta make something happen also gotta watch uh running back dobbins there and herbert where's he gonna go he's running he's trying to scramble and we're there to get him thank you so very much tyree wilson second and 16 but as we've seen throughout the course of this game Second and longs, third and longs, they don't really mean a whole lot. Uh, Herbert and the boys are converting those with regularity. So hopefully that's not the case on this drive. And we can finally force a punt or at least even a field goal and not going to be either. Come on, big hit. Pop that football out. Gus Edwards now at 84 yards after all those first half struggles. He is actually approaching the century mark. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Akron Summit's franchise. Buckle your seatbelts. It is going to be a long and wild ride, and that should be holding as well. It's got to be something. We didn't hit Herbert, so it can't be a penalty on us. Donald Parham catches it, and I think it was actually Joe Alt, the fifth-round pick, another ineligible man downfield. What are you doing? What are you doing, Joe? I mean, you're helping me out, so I guess I'll take it. That's going to be the end of the third, and we have a whopping three points on the scoreboard, but actually 21 points for the Chargers. Not as bad as it could have been, considering they had, uh, what, I think 14 in the first quarter. I don't know. Maybe we stop them. Maybe we hold them to a field goal here. I, I don't like our chances, but it certainly is possible. And show me another run. It is a run. And Edwards going to be stopped. One yard short. This could be a uh, 60 out jacks blitz situation. Do I got it in my favorites? I always use that play. So I should. No, I don't. Uh, where's the 60 out jacks blitz, man? Can't find it. Just going to have to go pressure. It is what it is. And maybe uh, Epps can get shoot a gap or something it's probably gonna be a run and nope not gonna matter i need my 60 out jack splits man that's my go-to third and one you know from the one yard line i should say play and i'm gonna have to find that and favorite that bad boy because i use it all the time it's gonna be 28 3 game probably over but at least let's score some touchdowns have something we could carry over into the next week and you know not fumble or throw a pick, please. This could be a little corner shot here to Jacoby Myers. Need a little bit of protection, though, to let this play develop. And, you know, not fumble or throw a pick, please. Fuck! And that is just going to be another pick, man. Oh, boy, howdy, freaking Batman. That's JT Woods, the backup free safety. Uh, that was just a case of tunnel vision, you know, looking, uh, not looking off at any other receivers, only looking at one guy. That corner route usually gets open, though, so that's why, you know, I wasn't really looking uh, for anything else. But 
It's going to be eight minutes of pain and misery because I highly doubt. I mean, we're still going to try to score. Got to get something right up on the scoreboard. But, uh, yeah, a lot of things we got to work on going into the next week. And defense is a lot of them, but also offense. I mean, offense, you know, with me, <laughs> it's limited. Third and 14, though. Can we finally get a third down stop on the Chargers, please? I mean, if we can't stop them here, like, what are we even doing? I mean, we got to be able to stop them. Hey, what do you know? Just barely. <laughs> Almost didn't stop them. Hell, if I was hardball, I'd just go for it. I mean, they're going to kick the field goal, which is cool. I'm not even going to attempt to block this because the last thing I want to do is run into Cameron Dicker. And one more chance probably for us to find the end zone. That's actually going to be a miss. Very good. So we're going to start in great field position. Please, I'm begging you, Madden God, smile on me and let Gardner Minshew take this team down to pay dirt. We do got some press on Devontae Adams. So if I see that safety, of course he's not going to. Cheat. We'll just go to Bowers again. Brock Bowers has had an excellent game, by the way, in his debut. Haven't gotten Devontae Adams as involved as I probably, probably should have. But, you know, now obviously we're in a, a pass-only mode. And with this draw play here, if we can get a freaking double-team block on uh, one of these guards here, we might be able to pop something. And I'll tell you what, Abdullah... Only with two carries in this game, but they both look very, very good. We're going play action shot again. Hopefully, Jacoby Myers gets open, but I just need some protection. Okay, that's got a jumping freaking pirouette by the defender. You got to be kidding me, man. Okay, let's try the other PA crosser. I'm really bound and determined to score here, guys, if you couldn't tell. And God, man, our offensive line sucks, dude. Our offensive line just absolutely sucks. And what do you do here? TE attack, okay? That's what the coach is saying to do. Last time, I tried to roll out and throw a pick. So maybe we just uh, stay in the... Oh, but Khalil Mack is rolling out. Okay, here we go. This is it, baby. This is money. Brock Bowers, you get in there, you beautiful human being. Thank you. We are going to score a touchdown. I saw Khalil Mack drop out in a coverage. And I'm like, yeah, I'm rolling out to the left. No doubt about it. And I mean, you know, again, game probably over, but at least the scoreboard looks a little bit more respectable when we get Garner Minshew his first touchdown on the season. I'll tell you what, one good key play by the defense, and we're technically not out of this thing yet. Got to force a fumble or something. You see Gus Edwards there cradling the ball, holding it very, very tightly. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're probably just going to be run mode, I would, I would assume. But one big play from us, an interception, a fumble, something like that, you know, uh, and we're not even going to be able to stop Gus Edwards, are we? Third and one, and I would presume the Chargers are probably going to run it. So we're just going to guess, run up the middle. I mean, that's that's what we're doing. Run up the middle. If they burn me, they burn me. I'll use her up on Marcus Epps here just in case. And yeah, oh, there we go, baby. That could have been a disaster. But Divine Diablo, who has really been playing good, in this game, I would say even great. We sent the house, Herbert play action, and that would have been wide open for a score. But we have a chance to, uh, like I said, game technically not over. We're going to fair catch this. It probably is, but a couple quick strike, quick strikes here. I don't know. Crazier things have happened. I need Brock Bowers to block because we have to have some time here in this pocket. I really would prefer to hit Adams, but we're just going to do check down to Trey Tucker, who's still on his feet. Don't fumble it, man. Don't fumble it. This is our comeback drive here. Those little check downs on the flats, they have been open in this game, I will say. So I do like that. And uh, no, still no press for Devontae. This would be the perfect situation, too, to hit him. We're probably going to be looking uh, maybe Trey Tucker's way. Nope, we're going to go to Bowers again, but we're almost sacked there. And uh, just barely got that thing away. Coach is saying screen, so I'm saying screen. Cannot take a sack here, though. I mean, we're... You know, obviously going to go for it. There's no reason not to. This is a very, very bad part of the field to have to have to go for. It. Amir Abdullah should be able to get this. And he actually breaks a tackle. I'll tell you what, man. Amir Abdullah is our third stringer. Not sure why Zamir White. Got to make sure he didn't uh, maybe, you know, get injured or something like that. But I don't really know why he's why he's not out here. Um, I don't like this play that I called either. I can I can tell you that much. Um, I mean, I think... We're just going to audible this into a run. We still got the two-minute warning, so it's fine. Ab Abdullah is making some noise. Is he our starter? 
Should he be our starter? I don't know. I know we promised Madison that he would be, so that would drop his morale, but he's dropping my freaking morale with the way he's playing today. Coach is saying screen again, but we're going to flip it and lose in this game 28 to 17. I will not actually feel that bad about it, but Amir Abdullah, I got to see uh, Madison didn't get didn't get hurt, did he? Uh, no, he's just, you know, Coach Smalls has seen enough. And if Coach Smalls has seen enough, you're getting pulled. That's just, that's, that's how the philosophy goes here. Abdullah broken tackle. I mean, this guy, he, I don't know, man. I don't know. He's playing like, really playing like he wants to be our starter. I don't know. I mean, how do you, how do you argue with production, right? He's has the most production for us so far. In this one, and this is actually going to be a sack. Yeah, I was trying to go shot there to Trey Tucker, and uh, we just end up getting sacked by Khalil Mack. Come on, guys. Want to finish with the scoring drive if possible. Devontae Adams is open. Couldn't break a tackle, though, from Joey Bosa, unfortunately. And it's going to bring up third and 13. Not a whole lot you can really do in this situation other than grab the Vaseline and pray. But, man, Trey Tucker is so open. Devontae Adams is getting pressed as well, but this has got to be a quick step drop to Tucker. It is. He's having a really good game, and he's going to bring it all the way down to the 27. I think Amir Abdullah gave us that spark, man. Ever since he came into the game, I just feel like we're playing better. And come on, Minshew. There we go. It's Tucker. Oh, mere shades away from the goal line. And it looks like we will... Hopefully, put up 17. I'll tell you what, I, I want to run in this situation. I mean, we're not playing to win. Like, that's, you know, that's pretty much over. Um, we're just playing to make the scoreboard a little bit more respectable. We still got two timeouts here, and this is Amir Abdullah. If he scores this touchdown here, I don't know, man. He is. Wow. Amir freaking Abdullah. Okay. I respect it, my brother. And you can feel good about this. 28-17, sure, it's a loss, but we did not allow the Chargers to put up 30, at least not yet. That's going to be a missed extra point, too. No, it's not, actually. We didn't allow them to put up 30. Uh, we have scored now, what, 14 unanswered points. We're going to at least try for the onside kick. I mean, why not? Like, at this point, go balls to the wall. It's got to go 10 yards. We're going to go with the high kick. Got to make sure I actually do, in fact, boot this thing 10 yards, which it's not going to go 10 yards, is it? Doesn't matter anyways. Chargers do pick it up, but hey, the ending of that game was much better than the beginning, and I can feel good about 28-17 loss in our first game of the franchise. 28-17 is your final. Coach Smalls and Coach Harbaugh, two new coaches. I mean, Harbaugh obviously being a former coach of the 49ers, but new to this season, and that's a pretty quick handshake. Coach Smalls wasn't having any of that. And, uh, you know, defense needs to tighten up a little bit, but they kind of did there at the end, although the Chargers were, I'm sure, just playing conservatively. But Garner Minshew actually outpasses Herbert. He has 308. Herbert has 258. But those two interceptions, boneheaded by me, I know. And uh, I will certainly, certainly take that. But Gus Edwards went 20 for 98. Madison only averaging 1.7 yards per carry, but how about Amir Abdullah averaging 7.2 and had the touchdown as well, receiving Trey Tucker with 129, Brock Bowers with 87 and a touchdown. Gotta look to get Devontae Adams more involved. I really want to see him get impressed a little bit, but you know, when you got a star receiver like that, defenses know it and they're not going to be out there pressing you too much. Khalil Mack was a game record, three TFLs, a sack. Tyree Wilson, though, actually outplayed him. Three TFLs and two sacks. I do like to see that see that a lot. And uh, also, Divine Diablo had a very good game, too. Four tackles, a TFL, and a sack for him as well. We do lose middle linebacker Amari Bernie. Not the best player, but that's depth that we're definitely now lacking. So he's going to be gone five weeks. Not the desired result, obviously, here in week one. And it's not going to get any easier. Week two, taking on the Baltimore Ravens. But then we do get a bit of a reprieve week three against the Carolina Panthers. So I could easily see us going one and two in these three games, but maybe we'll go two and one. I don't know. But hey, 
that's going to do it for the first episode of the franchise, guys. Remember, SFL is coming. Stay with me. It's taken me a very long time to create all 32 of these teams, but trust me when I tell you it is going to be worth it. Go download them on the Download Center if you want to, and uh, think about joining the channel membership. It's only a couple dollars a month, and you will. if I'm a content creator that you enjoy, you will be helping me out a ton, and uh, it will not go unnoticed, I promise. But that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.